patient, a uh, rugby player, um, with a previous injury of the distal biceps tendon. After surgery, uh, the tendon was reattached into the radius, and uh, the, uh, our patient developed uh, uh, um, insufficiency of the radial function. Uh, specifically, if we ask our patient to extend uh, the wrist, we see a limited extension and uh, no extension at all for the fingers. So, uh, we see two uh, surgical scars here related to the to previous surgery. And now we uh, place the probe, give me some gel please, uh, over the uh, distal biceps. So that's the image. Uh, this is lateral, this is medial. Uh, this is the long head, this is the short head of the biceps. Of course, we have to check the status of the lateral cutaneous nerve of the forearm, the distal branch of the uh, musculocutaneous nerve, and, the, uh, and the, this nerve uh, appears uh, normal. Uh, there is no uh, focal swelling of the nerve close to the, uh, uh, to the tendon. But we see um, um, an unusual feature here. So uh, the um, short head uh, of the biceps uh, was uh, uh, redirected laterally. It passes underneath uh, the long head and then uh, following it down, uh, we see the, the, the thickened tendon uh, going here uh, to insert into the radius. We can see some uh, sutures and some uh, bone irregularities related to the position of the, um, uh, of the anchor. And uh, this is the long axis view showing the heterogeneous tissue and uh, um, uh, thickened tendon insertion. So uh, the, um, uh, when we check the radial nerve, we identify the radial nerve here in between between uh, the uh, brachioradialis and the, the lateral edge of the brachialis muscle. And we see the, the radial nerve made of uh, uh, two group of fascicles. The lateral one is the uh, origin of the posterior enterosis. Uh, the medial one is the sensory branch. Following the posterior enterosis nerve, uh, this is the posterior enterosis, we see uh, that this nerve passes uh, underneath the, uh, the short head here, uh, redirected laterally, then it curves around the short head, it becomes superficial again, and then it moves down to reach the level of the arcade of froze, and finally it enters the supinatory tunnel. How is the, the posterior trousers nerve within the supinatory? I see thickened fascicles here. Uh, this is the uh, level of the arcade, the nerve appears uh, swollen, and then when I uh, pronate, I can follow the, uh, the, um, uh, this, the, the posterior trousers nerve distally. I see the fascicles remain very thick net here, uh, and finally they uh, exit the tunnel and they return to their normal um, size and caliber. So from distal going to proximal, I see the thickened posterior trousers nerve uh, across the full uh, extension of the uh, supinator, that's the nerve, and uh, uh, the nerve is here uh, uh, close to the uh, sh uh, redirected and, uh, uh, short head, then you see that the, ner the nerve forms a loop around the short head and uh, finally uh, it uh, joins uh, the fascicle of the uh, superficial uh, branch uh, to form the main trunk. This was a scan from, from distal to proximal. So this is a case of uh, um, a, a stretching injury of the posterior enterosis nerve related to the um, uh, um, uh, redirected short head of the um, uh, distal biceps tendon. How is the long head? The long head was uh, the normal. Uh, it appears uh, absolutely normal. Uh, when I change the position to check uh, uh, the, uh, the long head at the level of uh, 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 its insertion, I can recognize the, uh, uh, the tendon distally. So this is the uh, artery, 
and that is the long head. The long head looks uh, completely normal. This was uh, unaffected. Probably uh, before surgery, the injury was an incomplete uh, um, tear affecting uh, only the uh, short head, uh, whereas the um, long head was uh, um, spared. So this is a, a case of uh, um, complicated surgery um, for the distal biceps tendon in which the radial nerve uh, um, underwent a stretching injury.